Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 on 4.3 Beta 1. Now the reason why I only say iPhone 4 is because that's the only thing Pwnage Tool supports at the moment, and right now Pwnage Tool is the only thing that can jailbreak 4.3 Beta 1. So first of all, you're going to have to be on a Mac. Second of all, you're going to have to be either a developer or you're going to have to have your UDID registered and in order to be a developer it's $99 a year and you can register on Apple's website I will have a link to register down in the more info or you will have to register your UDID with somebody because when you restore to this firmware it checks to make sure that your UDID is registered with Apple in order to actually complete the restore so that's what you need and also you guys might want to take into account that almost all of the packages that you'd get in Cydia will be broken which means they will not work because the developers have not had enough time to port everything to work with 4.3 yet and this is mainly just for people who actually develop hacks for the iPhone iPod touch and iPad to test them out to see if they work or not yet and uh, to fix them if they are indeed broken and also, if you rely on an unlock for your iPhone 4, do not do this because this will permanently upgrade your baseband. So that is something to take into account. Now, what we're going to do is just come over here and we're going to go to this website in order to download your firmware for 4.3 Beta 1. Or if you are a developer, then you can simply just go to Apple's website, which is right here, and you can just download the iOS 4.3 right there, and you will be good to go. But if you just have your UDID registered, you can come here and go to where it says iOS 4.3 Beta 1, and then select the iPhone 4 and hit the green download button, and that is what I did. And if you want your UDID registered, you can click by UDID spot, and it will be registered and it is only seven dollars you just put in your UDID and you click buy now and your UDID will be registered and how they actually do that is they have an Apple developer account and they just put your UDID on their developer account once they receive the donation next thing you will have to have downloaded is the newest version of Pwnage tool now I have it up here in this media fire link so just go to it in the more info and download it and then once you have it downloaded you you're gonna have to have something to unzip it. Now you already do have something uh, because you're on a Mac, but if you want something that's a little bit faster, you can get Stuff It Expander. Now that is in uh, the Mac App Store. Just search for Stuff It and you will find it. And then you simply just unzip it. Now once your firmware is also downloaded, just simply place it on your desktop like so. Mine is right here and I'm going to zoom in for you and show you that I am on 4.3 and iPhone 3 comma 1 means I am on the iPhone 4 so that's just some more proof there and as you can see right here I just unzipped it and now I have Pwnage tool on my desktop so I'm just going to click on Pwnage tool and the most important thing is that you select expert mode and then select iPhone 3G 3GS or 4 and hit next and then browse for your IPSW and hit next and mine is right on my desktop so I'm just going to open it up and now you can just set the settings to your liking for instance in general you can activate the phone if you want or you can change the root partition size now I don't recommend messing with the root partition size unless you actually know what you're doing uh, you can also put in custom Cydia packages such as dev files you can also manage your sources here or you can actually download packages from different sources that you have there and then once you have all of your settings you can just click on build and hit next and then save it as so I'm just gonna save it as iPhone 4 jailbreak and then hit save and I'm saving it on the desktop so I will be back when it has finished building my IPSW because this does take some time and then when it's finished and when it's built your firmware and put it on the desktop mine's right here it will try and go through the steps to enter DFU mode with you guys well uh, I'm just going to tell you how to enter DFU mode really quick what you're going to do is you're gonna take your iPhone and you're gonna hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds now it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter if it's turned off or if you're even at the home screen just hold them down and continue to hold for 10 seconds and if you are at the home screen a slide to power off bar will come up and then it will just go away and then uh, 
you just keep holding for a total of 10 seconds, then you let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for at least 15 seconds. Some computers take longer to recognize it. Most computers recognize it around 20 seconds and you will know because your speakers will make some kind of notification to let you know and most likely iTunes will pop up. So then what you're going to do is you're going to come to iTunes and by the way, you will need to have the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer and to get the latest version all you're gonna have to do is come up to this Apple right here and then go to software update and it will automatically download the latest version of iTunes for you then what you're gonna want to do is hold down alt and click restore if you are doing this on a Mac or if you somehow managed to get the custom firmware on a PC then just hold down shift and click restore because when you do that it will bring up a menu to select your custom firmware and then just select the place where it is and by default it puts it on the desktop and mine is iPhone 4 jailbreak dot IPSW so then you just click choose and you click restore and it even says right there iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4 Point three. Now I am not going to do this because I do not have my UDID registered and I do not want to update my baseband. But if you guys are risk takers and you want to try this, then by all means go ahead. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about really quick was this guy right here, Brett's iPod help. Now a link to his channel will be down below in the more info and he actually makes some pretty good stuff. He just makes things similar to me. He does things on news. He does tutorials he covers Cydia tweaks just basically what I do now he actually was one of my very very first subscribers and I've been in touch with him for a long time and he just recently made this channel Brett's iPod help and I would really appreciate it and so would he if you guys would go to his channel and subscribe to him because he does make quality stuff so I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys know not to try this unless you really want iOS 4.3 and you don't mind Mind taking a risk so again just hope you guys like this video please comment let me know what you think and as always rate and subscribe this is ICU signing out